What up, what up, you fellas? It's your boy Wolf Said the Engineer, and this is KSP Guide. So, as you have guys requested, I'm going to show you how to land on the moon with style. I'm, I, I'm personally an expert in this because I had a lot of fuck up landing on, uh, especially Minmus. The problem is you would bounce off the ground. So I'm gonna design uh, one or two example, and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is the build fellas. Uh, what you're looking at is the UKS. I'm using the uh, colonization mod. So this is one of their surface, uh, let's call it surface outpost. I've added some in, uh, inflated. This is an inflated workshop and this is... Uh, I'm sorry, my English is bad, I'm not gonna spell that out. Um, the whole idea of it is how to land with a, let's say, a suitable launch system. I made sure that the center of mass is not exactly offset. So it's gonna make the landing a little bit harder because I'm expecting all the bases that we would ever build would not have an aligned center of mass. So we will use this landing, this landing gear, which is uh, well, it's strong. It have a 45 uh, crash tolerance. How do you say that? Yeah, crash tolerance. Crash tolerance is 45 uh, meter per second, and we have here a launch escape system and. Uh, Let's call it a landing system. Those are four engine landing. Um, this is a nose uh, cab and a separator. And I'm using here a reaction wheel. This is overpowered, but it would suit perfectly. So let's give it a go. Okay, so as you've seen, it takes off and it lands simply. And all you have to do is, upon landing, just seconds before landing. Space. And there goes your launch system, so right now your base is stable. Now that's one of the ways... Oh, glorious. That's one of the ways that you can land your base in it. Now we're gonna do the same, but on the moon. Alright, so there goes the moon. As any landing, you have to kill your um, vertical velocity to identify a suitable place for landing. I'm guessing I'm gonna land in the crater. Alright, we're coming down ever so smoothly. Make sure upon descent do not exceed uh, 100 meter per second, especially under 30, uh, 30 kilometer. Otherwise, there is a high chance that your landing is a crushed one. So, next we will switch to the uh, surface velocity. Now, this will, uh, it will be more accurate rather than the orbital velocity since we are very close to the ground. I can see the stones from here. We will slow down to at least uh, 50. I'm guessing this is alright. Alright, so we're on our final approach. Um, let's call it this a suicide burn. We are slowing down rapidly. Okay, I can see the ground from here. I'll teach you a trick, guys. If you ever want to have a smooth landing and you can't see the ground, use the light as an indicator. Always have some light on the uh, bottom of the aircraft and use that as an indicator to know where is the ground. So ever so carefully on the land, we are going by 6 meters per second. Another trick you can use is also the shadow. The shadow of your aircraft would be a good indicator on where you are. We're coming in nice and smooth. Touchdown. Now, this was a rough landing because those doesn't have a suspension. But uh, in your design, I would advise that you use different techniques, especially the RCS system, so you can land as smooth as possible. Now, it's time to set up the base and jettison those engine. So, there we go. Deploy, deploy. As you can see, everything is set for our colony. I'm going to make now example number two, but before we start, always have a modular base. Always have a base for your base, and everything else would be above it. And in other words, you will be able to use um, a smaller space for a bigger colony. So I'm going to put the other uh, model on the designer, and I'll be right back, fellas. 
Alright, so welcome back fellas. This is the second example and this is my best, my favorite. What you're looking at is a rover slash a modular base. What we have here is the same technique for landing. Uh, I'm using both on each side to keep the center of the mass or center of thrust in the middle. But what's most important about this is it is modular. You can use docking ports and then those landing gear or uh, landing models this is uh, made by the mod but in your uh, design you can do it the way you want and then basically deliver this model to the other models or connect them together using wheels or rovers again those are modded but in your gameplay you can do it the way you see it fit so let's give this a go and see how will it work all right welcome back fellas so there was a Jurassic failure in the earlier design as... Oh my god. There was no reaction control. Now we got reaction control. So we're killing our uh, relative velocity to the moon. And this should bring us down to a rather nice orbit. Okay, ever so smoothly and ever so carefully. our speed now the way we're landing is gonna be just like landing an airplane but a lot faster I have a feeling that something's gonna go horribly wrong we might lose Bill Bob and Valentina we have else Herney Kerman so as it seems we killed all the uh, vertical velocity right now we are going down ever so smoothly our speed is 10 meter per second I'm just worried about the tires those tires should come down to the ground like right now so final approach we are balancing our speed as usual do not exceed the 10 meter per second landing speed so there we go the wheels are working you will be able to maneuver this uh, base around and once you reach the other model you can just connect it as an extra bonus you can also add some decoupler on the wheels or the frame for the wheels and once you connect to the main base you can just decouple the wheels and have your base set up so I'm setting up the base here let's see there we go ever so unique and this is the favorite way of building bases especially on uh, other planet because simply enough you don't need to worry about landing at a pinpoint next to your base and then using cast to connect the bases together which is gonna be like stitching the base all <laughs> with struts and stuff with this way you can just connect it using the docking portal and it will be as one place one point Okay, so that's it for today's fella. I hope you learned something useful, especially for landing or building your modular bases on other uh, planets. Now, um, moon is honestly an easy one. A hard one would be something like Eve or even worse, Duna with a small atmosphere, but that's gonna go for another episode. For now, this will do. You make sure to let me uh, know, guys, what do you think or what's the problem do you face in Kerbal Space Program. Make sure you put that in the comment below and I'll uh, definitely tackle that issue. Meanwhile, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Keep him uh, likes coming. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming every day. Until then, stay tuned.